When two A-list musicians who have, over the years, basically defined the term diva go head-to-head, -head, things get ugly fast. The ongoing battle of words between Reginald Kenneth Dwight and Madonna Louise Ciccone kept fans and the media wondering what brutal insult would come next. The feud between Madonna, the material girl herself, and Sir Elton Hercules John carried on for years. Elton John was born in Pinner, Middlesex, England, and was a child prodigy on the piano. He was awarded a scholarship to the Royal Academy of Music when he was just 11 years old. His fascination with rhythm and blues had Elton touring with musicians by the early 1960s, and his career really took off after meeting his songwriting partner, Bernie Taupin. He had his first hit song by 1968, and the self-titled album, Elton John, turned him into a global superstar. With Bernie co-writing, the 70s were one of the most successful decades of Elton John's life, and he couldn't stop putting out hit music in between his massive drinking and drug issues, which nearly killed him. The problems with Madonna didn't start until much later. Madonna was born in 1958 in Bay City, Michigan, and studied dance before making music with different rock groups, and her first hit, Holiday, became a smash hit in 1983. Her rise to stardom was inevitable, and she basically ruled the 80s music scene. The two artists had next to nothing to do with each other up until the year 2002. Madonna played a small role and wrote the theme song to a James Bond movie called Die Another Day. Elton called it the worst Bond tune ever and that the song should have been done by someone else like Shirley Bassey, who had done several other Bond songs in the past, or himself. Two years later, Elton John took another swipe at the 2004 Q Music Awards in the UK when she was nominated for an award in the Best Live Act category. Elton John went ballistic and said, Madonna, Best Live Act? He then asked the question, since when has lip syncing been live? And would go on to say that anyone who lip syncs in public on stage when you pay 70 pounds to see them should be shot. During his acceptance speech for the Classic Songwriter Award that he mentioned he would be off her Christmas card list, but didn't care. Madonna's spokesperson responded saying Madonna does not lip sync, nor does she spend her time trashing other artists, and that Elton John would remain on her Christmas card list, whether naughty or nice. Sir Elton John would later apologize for his comments and call them unfair. He called Madonna his friend, said that she had been to his house for dinner before and that he'd apologize in person when he saw her again. The issues didn't stop there, though. Before Elton John was married to his spouse, David Furnish, he'd requested for Madonna to perform at his bachelor party. She refused, and he would go on to call her a miserable cow to all his guests. In 2012, the rivalry would flare up again when they were both up for the same Golden Globe Award. Elton told everyone that she had no chance of winning against his song, and when she did win, his husband David said that her acceptance speech was embarrassing in its narcissism. Madonna said that she knew Elton would win another award and shrugged the comments off. Elton attacked her again during an interview in August of 2012, calling her a nightmare, saying her career was over, and then he compared her to an old stripper. That was the last incident, and even though Lady Gaga helped stir the pot a bit since then, it seems like the hatchet has been buried, for now. They happened to be eating at the same restaurant in France, and peace was made when Elton apologized to Madonna and bought her dinner, saying that he should have never said what he had said in public. You can still see them live as both Madonna and Elton John are currently still touring, although Elton John says that soon he'll retire from the stage forever.